remember a couple years back my <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I remember a couple years back my dad made me read In Search of Lost Time by Marcel Bruce. The book was about this big. And it follows his childhood memories of him eating Madeleine cakes. But most importantly, it warns the passing of time. I'd like to thank my Damas and Chapelanes for being here tonight. Love you. Y'all are real ones, yeah? Um, we all appreciate Pastor Sergio for making this Christian service happen. We really appreciate you. But most importantly, I'd like to thank the Reeds, my padrinos and sponsors, who bought me this beautiful dress. As we all know, this is a very memorable occasion for my family and I. A quinceanera is our coming of age tradition. It's what I've dreamt of since I was a little girl, and now it's finally a dream come true. I, can't, I feel like I've reached the team with a of an eye. Just the other day, I was crossing the street. My dad was always the big hero that saved me, swept me off of my feet as the cars passed by. Now, in a way, I saved him when I say, <laughs> Bobby, you've had enough food. No need for birds. Maybe Bobby never really wanted me to grow up. And to be honest, I still kind of like the idea of being his little girl. He's stubborn, and he still wants to be that same hero, even though times have changed. But life goes on, right? Or does it? I'll still have my old man, even as I grow up. I can still ask some questions like, how do I change a flat tire? And I'm still with a wise old man that I knew, even as he ages. We can't stop the hand of Mother Nature and of Father Time. Adulthood isn't a bad thing. But we must first be a child before we become a grown-up. One follows the other in perfect symmetry. But we also need to eventually leave our comfort zone. And that's exactly how my parents raised me. <laughs> you see, this guy, Bobby, was not an easygoing guy. He pushed me to my limits and sometimes even beyond. But looking back, I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. I remember a time in elementary, there was this huge rock wall that I was so eager to climb. I caught up about halfway and then I gave up simply because I was scared. Bobby backed down. And to this day, I'll never know the satisfaction of conquering that obstacle. I'm getting older now, and I think differently. But the pillars and foundations of my life remain the same. They're the columns that hold up my cathedral. God, physical activity, but most importantly, familia. I strive to live a healthy lifestyle, physically, emotionally, and mentally. In closing, I ask, does love ever really die? Even after my parents and I return to dust, our love will continue on as a formless idea, floating around in space, occasionally touching the souls of the generations that come after me. Thank you.